Before I talk about the Windows configuration list, I want to show you a nice little trick. Here I am working in configuration 10, my small mixer. And let's say I add a couple sections here. Let's say I add instrument and I add inserts, all of which we'll be talking about in the mixing course. And you can see bigger mixer here with some additional sections. And now I pull up my big mixer, 0.11 star. And I say, oops, I forgot to save the changes I made to the previous configuration. Well, you can undo the fact that you've brought up a new Windows configuration. In other words, you can revert back to the previous Windows setup by doing 0, 0.0 star. And now I'm back to the minimal mixer with the changes I made. And now I can update this configuration if I want. So you can see minimal mixer is the active configuration. I can say update it. And now if I do 0.11, that's my big mixer, 0.10. That's my minimal mixer with my changes. All right, so let's take a look at the Windows configuration list. Again, Option Command J brings it up. And the way it looks over here is pretty obvious. I have the number of the configuration and the name. Comments are over here. And then each of these symbols tells what parts of the Windows setup are memorized in this configuration. So for example, this means I memorized the window layout. This means I've memorized the edit window, mix window, score editor window, transport settings, and the MIDI editor. Now, if I don't want to show any ones with the score editor, I just click that and all of those go away. So these are nice little filter buttons. If you have a lot of configurations, this may be useful. And then over on the drop down menu, I have the same filters here. I can even turn off the icons if I want. And then I can turn on comments or turn off comments. I can do the same things I can do from the window menu, updating configurations, editing them, clearing them, deleting all of them, or just deleting the current slot. I can set auto update, and I can even insert a slot before. That's useful if I have scoring, let's say, and I want to insert a second composing one, and I'd really like it to go before scoring. So I could choose insert slot before scoring, I'll call this second composing. And now I have a new number two, as they say in the prisoner, and scoring is now number three. What happens if I save a configuration over an existing number? So let's say I bring up my mixer and I make some more changes. I take out inserts and I add in mic preamps. And now I want to save this at slot 11. If I do 0.11 plus, I'll call that minimal mixing two, it will overwrite the one I have in that slot. So that's another way of updating a configuration, just overwrite it in the same slot. So that tells you everything you want to know about Windows configurations, except for one thing. We've worked with all of these configurations in a template. There's nothing in this file. What I really want to do once I've set up all these nice configurations is be able to import them into my current session. And we'll learn how to do that in the next video.